The Bahamas, located in North America, is a sought-after destination for travelers around the globe. While the region boasts stunning natural beauty, it's important to be cautious of the sharks that roam the waters. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe immediately as we bring you the bone-chilling tale of Jordan Lindsay. Jordan, who was snorkeling with her family on Rose Island, was suddenly attacked by a group of sharks. On Wednesday, Jordan and her family were on the third day of their much-anticipated vacation in the Bahamas. Despite the island's widespread media coverage, the experience had exceeded their expectations, offering a stunning and thrilling adventure. The family woke up early, eager to make the most of their day ahead. After breakfast and some quality time with her loved ones, Jordan was ready to explore the beautiful sandy beaches and enjoy the company of her girlfriend. As a 21-year-old student of communications at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, Jordan was relishing the opportunity to experience something truly unique. Just as the family was winding down for the day, they spotted the Sandy Toes Tour Company and decided to take a chance on a last-minute day trip to Rose Island. Despite the trip being fully booked, Jordan's father managed to persuade the company to let them join in. The tour promised a six-hour excursion with a boat cruise, snorkeling experience, and even an opportunity to pet some swimming pigs. Jordan couldn't contain her excitement, having always been a nature enthusiast with a deep love for animals. With the company sneaking them on board, the family headed towards Paradise Island Ferry Terminal, ready to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. The day started off with so much promise for the family, but it quickly turned into a tragedy that would change their lives forever. They boarded the ferry with excitement, beaming smiles, and a sense of adventure. Little did they know that their small day trip would end up being a fatal mistake. As they docked on the ferry, they were greeted with beautiful turquoise waters beneath them. Even though the sun decided to hide behind gray clouds looming over the ocean, but that didn't stop the family from enjoying their day trip. They had planned a snorkeling excursion, but not everyone was up for it. Michael, the two brothers, Jordan's sister, and Jonna preferred to spend the afternoon swimming by the beachside, enjoying the scenic views of the ocean. Jordan and Cammie, on the other hand, wanted the full experience. It was the third day of their trip, and Jordan wanted to make the most of it. The family talked it over and decided to split up for a while. Later on, Jordan and Cammy would rendezvous with Michael and the rest by the beachside since the distance to the other side where the snorkeling spot was not so far. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it was a decision that everyone would later regret. As they walked towards the snorkeling spot, they had time for reflection. The trail was surrounded by all kinds of trees growing through the sandy soil and exotic birds such as peacocks were in the area. Jordan and Cammy spoke about life, school, and family as they calmly walked alongside other tourists. The bright 21-year-old had many aspirations and a great future ahead of her. As Jordan and Cammy eagerly suited up in their wetsuits, the excitement was palpable. Jordan, in particular, was practically bursting with anticipation at the prospect of encountering some of the ocean's most fascinating creatures. And soon enough, they were submerged in the crystal clear waters, marveling at the breathtaking coral reefs that lay before them. But just as they were reveling in the beauty of the underwater world, tragedy struck. Suddenly, Cammy heard her daughter scream out for her, and when she turned, her heart sank. A school of sharks had descended upon Jordan, and they were attacking her with vicious ferocity. Cammy's instincts kicked in, and she immediately raced to her daughter's aid fighting off the sharks with all the strength she could muster. Despite the danger, she never once hesitated the love for her child was simply too strong. But as she pulled Jordan towards safety, more sharks appeared, tearing off chunks of her flesh and leaving her bleeding profusely. Despite Kimmy's valiant efforts and the arrival of a nearby boat, it was too late Jordan had already succumbed to her injuries. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the family was left to grapple with the devastating loss of their beloved daughter, and they called for better safety protocols to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. As for Cammy, the trauma of that day still haunts her, and she remains forever scarred by the memory of cradling her dying daughter in her arms. 
It's a tragedy that no parent should ever have to endure, and one that serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of taking precautions when exploring the natural wonders of the world.